Hello, in this video we're going to be using our save model to be able to identify cards. So now once your training has reached around 55,000 to 60,000 steps in the command prompt, you can just press Control C and it should give you something like this and it should say keyboard interrupt. And now if you go into the object detection folder in here, which is in the research folder, and you go to the training folder, you should have a file called model.checkpoint or CKPT. And it should have a pretty high number close to what you left off on. And so now we can use this and add it to our inference graph folder by scrolling all the way down here. And now what we can do is we can use this command right here, python export inference graph.py. And what we need to do is there's going to be four X's in here. And you can go back to the training folder and the highest number you have here is what you're going to need, which is in this case, 59,936. All right. Now, once we have that, we can just copy this command and paste it in here. Now, once this finishes, what it will do is it will add or it will export a frozen model into here, into this folder and make sure the pipeline.config is there, which we talked about in another video. And here, this will finish up. And now once we finish with that, in object detection, we're going to be using one of these scripts, either for a webcam, video, or an image. And this will let us use the model to identify the card. So if we, you already recorded a video, you can upload it here and name it as test, and it'll identify the cards. It'll put boxes around them and identify the cards. Now if you have a webcam, it'll do that live. It does the same thing. And also if you have a picture, you can just name it test one and it'll uh, load another image up for you in a window and it'll show all the cards identified and this works pretty well and it's pretty accurate the inference graph if you go all the way down here if you type idle it'll take you to the python shell you click file open you go and there's going to be image video or webcam now we can use the image one press open and click run module now this will take a second all right so now it puts boxes around here and it shows you what this is so this was an ace this was a nine this was a queen king jack jack but here it said it was a nine so it, it works pretty accurately and again the longer you let the model train the more accurate it will be so this time i should have probably let it go to seventy thousand steps or something like that and you can check in tensorboard if the line is under the number 0 0.05 then you should be fine but i guess i didn't let it train long enough so that's with an image now if you want it it to work on video okay, you just click file open again now there's gonna be one called object detection underscore video so if I click that press run module it's going to open up the record video and it'll identify the cards not too fast but here you'll be able to see them in a second see that was an ace that's another ace see it'll tell you if it's an ace of diamond an ace of clubs now since this is the faster rcnn model it'll be a lot slower but it'll be pretty much perfectly accurate but yeah, that's the video. All right. 
and if you just want to exit you can press Q so yeah that's about it and with the webcam it would work the same way just make sure you have a webcam plugged in so for me I, I don't have a webcam with me but it would be the same process same thing you would just go to file open and then you would click object detection webcam and you click run and run module and then it'll open up the webcam and then it'll identify the cards so yeah that's about it uh, for this series thanks for watching